Hey guys, uh, BC Peppers here. Uh, it's Rob, Rob again. Just wanted to give you guys an update on what's happening with the greenhouse. So it's not, uh, it's not empty anymore. I got about, I think, uh, 18 pepper plants. Lots of tomato plants. So yeah, let's see what I got. It's pretty exciting. I know uh, the first video I was saying I want to mainly focus on jalapenos, but that wasn't uh, that wasn't plausible due to what was uh, available local. I should have started with seeds. Uh, you're, you're supposed to start peppers four weeks before the last uh, frost, and I. I I should have had uh, seeds in the ground for a long time, but uh, I ended up buying these uh, well, well, well started pepper plants, and they were only two ninety nine each. So uh, majority of them, I got two of each kind. So I'm gonna be uh, doing a little uh, experiment. You guys will see that in a updated video, or a future video. Uh, I've, I've got some big plants. I think you guys will be pretty excited. So. We'll start with the first uh, specimen. This is a giant yellow banana pepper. Oh my god, it's gonna be so good. I've got a, I got a pair of those bad boys. They're they're doing awesome. I, I bought all these on Sunday, and it is currently Wednesday, I believe. So yeah, two uh, yellow uh, giant yellow banana peppers, and then to their right I have a sweet banana pepper. And yeah, it says these are amazing for frying. So like, I love stir fry. So these these got my name all over it. But I will be pickling and canning and jarring uh, those those guys for sure. Cause who the hell doesn't love banana peppers? You gotta be crazy if you don't like banana peppers. And next on the line is a chili grande. And this is awesome for salsa and pickling, apparently. That's what I hear. And this these plants are doing so good. I'd I'd pretty sure the chili grande is my most uh promising plants. They have so many shoots off. This one alone has nine shoots and then the center top, which is crazy because I haven't pruned it or topped it. So that is amazing. And it's already budding and you will see what I am going to be doing in a future video. You guys are going to be shocked and I hope you follow me for all the progress because this is never going to be the same video. Every time I come in here things are going to be different and yeah let's keep going down the line though. So we've covered the sweet banana, the big banana, so chili grande, good in salsa, pickling, and next we have a carmen pepper. It's called a carmen, or uh, yeah, it's it's named named after its shape. So the peppers will produce a like a bullhorn uh, shaped pepper, which is amazing. Like oh, stir fry, stir fry, oh boy. So I've got a pair of these bad boys. I I pretty much have two of every plant I got. Because you'll you'll see in a future video on what my plan is with that. I've got a, I've got some ideas. So the Carmen's looking forward to chili grandes. Oh, so, oh, every single thing I'm looking forward to. Orange blaze, La like, oh my goodness. So apparently these are so 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 bright. So this is just a bell pipe pepper. And yeah, it it's gonna be amazing. Like this isn't things you can get on the local grocery store shelf and I uh, I actually bought these all local these aren't no Home Depot plants this is from a local uh, greenhouse so supporting local support support that's what it takes guys you want to keep those guys in business man they know what they're talking about unless you'd rather deal with a 14 year old at Home Depot who's just trying to get a paycheck like you're not gonna get good information These have all been so well taken care of I'm um, I'm really excited and for three dollars a piece. I I'm very Very happy paying that Very very happy 
So yeah, uh, we've got an orange blaze up here. So this will be like a, a three. Oh, oh, we we went over these already. Yeah, so it's a three. It's a three lobe uh, bell pepper. You're probably used to your average uh, like four lobe, like at the bottom, how it comes to like a square. But uh, yeah, these guys will be more triangular. Uh, a big bell, bell triangular. And then we've got a uh, sweet heat pepper. So this this is a very low on the Scoville scale. Like I'd say lo lower than a jalapeno for sure. But this this is an amazing salsa. Like you can add this thing to anything. Cut it cut it up. Add it on to some nachos. Even onto a burger. You could even stuff a burger with it. I'm planning on. Um, getting really creative and making stuffed peppers, obvious, obviously, obviously. So yeah, these these, it's it's gonna be crazy. I'm so excited. All these delicious peppers. I'm so glad I'm not just doing jalapenos. That would have been so basic, bitch. Like, fuck that. All right. So we have a red start pepper, and this this will be a it's a three three to four lobe bell pepper. Oh, sorry. Yeah, these guys. So the, it'll be a bell pepper, and it'll be what you see on your grocery sh store shelves, pretty much. Just a different strain. So, yeah. So it's just a red bell pepper, really. For four lobe at the bottom. So this one will be square, not triangular shaped. And um, next on the line, we've got a plant called the Big Bertha. I love this name. Like, that's that's a bad bitch right there. I only bought one of these. I I screwed up. I'm going to have to go back and get a second one so I can um do my future plans cuz it my plans involve two of each pepper. So this is a this is another bell pepper, but the thing about this pepper is it it is the uh, how would I say that? It's it's the most elongated pepper in the world. So this is a sweet bell pepper, but it this this puppy gets long. Look at that. It says like seven to ten inch fruit. Like holy crap. That that's a big pepper, bro. And we're gonna kick it up a notch and get a little crazy. Yeah. Caribbean red habanero. It says it's the hottest pepper in the world, but uh that information is not correct. The red habanero is not the hottest pepper in the world. Um, yeah, and it, oh, I, oh my goodness, look at this. Grab this thing so fast. Scorpion Trinidad Maruga. Now this pepper right here, holy crap. Yeah, 1.2 million on the Scoville chart. Like, whoo, my mouth's gonna be on fire. We got some ghost pepper happening and I am going to go back and hopefully they're not sold out because everybody in their aunt and uncle is friggin trying to do gardening right now because, oh, well, they got nothing else to do, right? So I'm really hoping they're not sold out of these and all, all these plants are um, growing locally. I, I bought them from a, a small time greenhouse. Um, he has made quite the name for himself in um, the, the city I live in, Chil Chilliwack, BC. So the, yeah, the person I give credit to is uh, Brian Minter, and he owns a store called Minter Gardens, which is very famous in British Columbia, where I'm from. And he is amazing. He's so, he's so old. And this is what he loves to do. He loves to produce plants. I love his energy. He's just such a, a good old guy. And he's he won't even retire. Like, he just keeps going because this is what he loves to do. So, yeah, I've got these plants. And they're my shortest peppers. They, they're only pushing, like, two and a half inches. Like, they're, they're not doing much. But since I've gotten them... I don't know if you see the lighter green at the top, but all this is new growth since Sunday. So those two big badass leaves on the top, and about four new leaves on this. And let's skip the tomatoes, and we'll go back over here. 
and I've got some more bell peppers. This is a sweet, sweet pepper. It is a bell pepper. This is a four lobe. So what you'll see in the grocery store. And this is a gold, Golden California Wonder. So this is like exactly what you're going to see in the grocery store. And I've got two of those because plans. Yep, that happens. And this one is very, very, very exciting. So this plant right here is called Hot and Heavy Fire Away by uh, PW. So they're uh, Proven Winners. That's the name of the company. And this, this is an award-winning plant. And this is the first year on the market. No, like Nobody's really even grown this. So nobody's had a chance to crossbreed this bad boy or anything. And this is actually my only plant with a pepper uh, on it. It's just a little guy, but yeah. I am planning on getting a second one of these to... Uh, to, to to do my future videos like I've got plans like I was saying I don't want to do no spoilers but I got a I got a good surprise for you guys yeah so all these guys are sitting at about uh, eight inches over here gets a little shorter I got like a five inch or four inch five inch yeah so many different varieties I I'm really glad I didn't go with just jalapeno that would have been so boring holy shit and then I've got a couple, uh, the Romas, Romas are really all I wanted from the, from the uh, greenhouse. So those are my two plants that I really want to happen because for salsas and sauces, they, they, they're just the top notch. They're the sweetest. They're the best. They're, they're amazing. Tomato sauce, like, oh my goodness. I'm going to have, oh, I'm going to have the best fucking Oh, so good. I'm so looking forward to it. Uh, cherry tomato plant. Uh, another cherry tomato. And then I've got like a big beef. A very aggressive name. Big beef. Another big beef. Uh, this is a sweet million. Uh, that's a cherry tomato. So actually, I think the Fantastics are just... Uh, uh, so that Fantastic, this Fantastic. Those are just normal tomatoes. It, I only got the one cherry tomato plant that's a sweet million and these these are gonna be so amazing oh my goodness the sauces and salsas and hot sauce oh yeah so yeah there's the, the update video I actually um, I bought a bunch of dirt and pots so I'm just waiting for a few a couple days of good weather and I will be transplanting uh, these bad boys um, yeah, cause they're, they're, they've all grown their pots, so this needs to happen. So yeah, the next video, I will probably be doing a video on transplanting, which is going to be boring as hell, but I'll try to make it interesting somehow. Uh, yeah, I've got a, a water bucket right here, got a lid on so algae, uh, doesn't grow. I will be getting an air stone in there to keep the water moving so I don't get stagnant water. And I will also be adding a gutter to the side of the greenhouse, which will funnel water into my barrel. So we'll save some money and get uh, even better quality water. I already live in Chilliwack, BC, and we are known to have like, we're, we're on the top five for water quality in the world. So yeah, if it can get better, holy fuck. These plants, um, I'm gonna give these guys so much love. These plants are gonna be happy as hell. I really hope, at least. The only issues I might run into are heat, which uh, some of them will love, because they're like all these pepper plants are from different parts of the world. So some are closer to the equator, which love like nasty, nasty heat, while others are like just like it's they're just bare. It's just bearable for the the really hot heat right so i think i might have some problems in the summer i might have to spend some money on some fans uh yeah but this this has already cost me quite a bit uh the greenhouse itself was cheap 45 dollars canadian and really 
realistically I could have done it for $15 but I wanted a good door with good hinges and that's that's what made the price go up and um, yeah as far as the plants goes like I said three dollars each and the pots and dirt I don't want to talk about it but yeah I hope you guys liked uh, the update video uh, yeah so it's been a uh, Rob chatting with you BC peppers drop a like follow subscribe Tell all your friends. Alright guys. Later. Till the next one.